Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to set up a kids safe Wi-Fi using Unify's um, equipment. Um, so basically just to sort of say before we start all this is if you do want to do everything in this video you have to have two things in particular in the Unify range. So you need to have a USG, a, a security gateway and you need to have a Unify access points. Now you can do parts of this if you've only got one or the other, or if you've got a USG and a switch, a Unify switch, um, or you've just got a, a Unify access point. I'll show you which parts you can do and which parts you can't do. Um, but basically, if you want to do everything we're doing in this video, you must have a USG and you must have the Unify access points. So what we're going to be doing is we're setting up a kids safe network. Um, basically, it's going to have content filtering, but also it's going to, uh, you can set it up so it turns on and off at certain times. So you don't have to tell the kids to get off the internet and get off the iPads or whatever. You can just, the internet will shut down and they won't be able to access it anymore. So, um, all right, we'll talk you through this. Um, the thing I'm using for content filtering on this is something called Family Shield by OpenDNS. Um, it is basically, as it says here, it's a way to block adult websites and protect your family. It does a little bit more, a uh, few bits and pieces there. And the great thing is that it is completely free. So assuming you've got your USG and your access points already, then you're not paying any extra for this, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do, I'm starting off on my mic. I've logged into my, um, I've got a cloud key here, but with your controller, you log into your controller. Um, and then the first thing you can do is go to the bottom and click on settings. Now, when you're in settings, you need to go to networks. So when you go to networks, now the, what we're doing here is we're basically that what the family shield does at the open DNS family shield is basically it's, uh, it's an alternative, um, DNS server so basically what you could do if you wanted to if you wanted to filter all the web traffic you have coming through your home to only be family safe then you could change the dns on the wan um to, to point a, a family shield however obviously that is going to restrict everyone everyone's going to then be looking at that unless you set up a separate vlan that had a um another dns so for example on my wan i'm using google's dns um, and then for this particular VLAN, we're going to be using um, Family Shield. So, assuming you want to do it via the VLAN, you click on Create New Network. And then up here, we just call this Kids. Um, I'm going to leave all that, and we're going to go to call this just 10. Um, and then I've got 192.168.1 as my... Uh, mainland, so I'm going to use dot two, um, one, and then dot twenty four to give us two hundred fifty four um, IP addresses for this network, which should be more than enough, unless you've got a lot of kids. Um, we'll just call these kids again. Um, and then the range is basically this number here, so it's created the range for you there when you put in uh, when you put the twenty four at the end. So uh, we'll say one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one to 192.168.2.254. Right, and the next thing we're gonna do, because we want to, this to point at a different DNS server to the standard, so if we, if, if we wanted it to continue to point at Google as the rest of the WAN is, as the WAN is, sorry, then we would leave it an auto, but actually what we wanna do is we wanna make this different. So, and here we're gonna put the DNS server um, for uh, Family Shield. So that is 208. Dot two, oh, sorry, dot six seven dot two 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 dot one two three and DNS server two is two oh eight dot oh, I have to do it again six seven dot two two oh dot one two three. Okay, and that's the only thing we need to change. Everything else we can leave on here, um, and then basically. The next thing you do is you just press save. Now, I'm not going to save this VLAN. The reason I'm not going to save this VLAN is because when you save it, it's going to reboot my USG, which I don't really want to do at this time because I'm in the middle of making a video. Um, but I'll talk you through it all. It's exactly the same. Um, so the only thing difference would be that you would press save at that point. So once you press saved, when you go back to your networks here, sorry, I just got to cancel this now. 
So you press save, obviously not cancel. All right, so when you get went back here, it would say kids, um, and then it would basically have all of this information with your range there. So your your one nine two dot two twenty four. And the VLAN number 10 would be written there. So where it's this blank here, it would, say, it would say 10. So that would be our VLAN created. That might take a few seconds for it to come in because obviously USG's got to uh, reboot. So that's not going to be active straight away. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to a wireless networks. Oh, sorry, just to say you can't create a VLAN without a USG. You just can't do it. So, um, you have to have a USG to do that first part. Now there is a way you can um, you can use the VLAN without um, and third party access points is if you've got a um, if you've got a unified switch as well, then you can put the VLAN on the ports that the access points are connected to, and that will then obviously restrict them to only using that DNS. Um, it's not you know that that'd be fine it's it's just not going to create the, the separate wireless network so you'd have to sort of configure that slightly differently so we've created the vlan the next part we're going to do is going to go to wireless networks so now we're going to create a wireless network so just go here create the wireless network and then we're going to call this kids wi-fi call it kids wi-fi and then we're going to give it some security. So we'll just say, sorry, I'll just put this on there so you can see what I'm typing. So we say kids one, two, three. Um, and then we don't need to apply guest policies. But what we're going to do here is we're just going to click on advanced options. The reason we click on advanced options is because this is where you can change the timing and also assign it to the VLAN. So you see here, it says use VLAN. So what you do is you click that and then we called it 10. So that would be the VLAN number that we selected. So we put in 10 in there and then that uses the VLAN for this Wi-Fi network. So all the traffic is gonna go through that VLAN. And the next things we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to enable uh, wireless LAN schedule. So we just click on this and then you'll see down the bottom here, it's put up schedule. And actually, it's given you a pretty good schedule. Um, it's a sort of working day, really, isn't it? Or slightly longer working day. But say you wanted, you know, this is really easy to adjust. So say you wanted your wife, kids' Wi-Fi to come on at 7 a.m. And you wanted it to go off at 7 p.m. And that's as simple as it is. You just adjust all that. You can slide it to do whatever. If you want it to come on at 3.15 in the morning, you can do that. Um, whatever you want it to do. And these, these are really easy to, to change. And obviously you can change it for every day. You might even just want to turn it off for one day. Um, but whatever you want to do, you can uh, you can change all the timings on there, which means that not only have you now got the, uh, the family shield on here, because it's going through that VLAN, you've also got a timer on it as well. So you've got a real sort of kid-friendly Wi-Fi there. Right, so when you click save, you click save, well, again, I'm not going to do that, but basically what that's going to do is that it's going to um, it's going to re-provision uh, all your um, access points. So it's going to take a little while. Obviously, if you're setting this up like I am at sort of nine o'clock at night and you've put the uh, timings to finish at seven, don't be surprised if you can't see that wireless network when you look on your devices. Um, what I would do is just with a little tester, just obviously put it to what after whatever time you're on, on the day you're on, and then you can have a look at it. But that's that. So once you've done all that, you've pressed save, then you go onto your Wi-Fi and you will see these kids networks, uh, the kid Wi-Fi networks set up. And then the next thing to do is just get, get all your kids' devices and make sure that that's the Wi-Fi they're looking at. Um, I would suggest if they have been connected to the other Wi-Fi networks, just press forget network on that. Um, and that's your lot. You've got a kids safe uh, Wi-Fi. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, Please subscribe to the channel and please like the video. Um, also, if you want us to follow um, Home Network Solutions, uh, Instagram, we're also, we're also on there. So it's home.solutions.network. Um, sorry, home.network.solutions. Um, so check us out on there as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, just put them in the comments below. Thanks. Goodbye.